Hey guys, Taylor K26A here doing another custom clone review of my Republic Customs uh, 501st Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2 version Heavy Trooper Style 2. It came out amazing. Very basic. This one's actually one of my least expensive customs. It's around, I think, $20, which is not that bad. I might even lower it even more. But then again, it's also going to be that price because something I'm working on for this figure to have is going to need to be produced and made. So, this figure, weapon-wise, comes with the Brick Arms Bazooka, which is a really nice addition. And not much to talk about on the weapon because it's just a, a lot rocket launcher. So, anyways, the figure itself, again, poseable legs. Don't think I did it in my last review on the 501st Airborne Trooper, but it has poseable legs as well. It has the belt decal, episode 3 torso design with the straps across the front. And these straps even actually have the three grenades on them as well, which I thought was an interesting touch. The uh, small red dots on the back, the black wraparound decal all the way around. The, the helmet was the easiest thing on this helmet was actually just the red dots. They were incredibly easy. Sorry for any glare. My sealant can be quite reflective in this in this kind of lighting. So... Two red dots on the front, two red on the side. Basic mouthpiece, episode 3 style, with the three dots on the bottom of the mask. Very, very basic. Again, not much to talk about on this design. The arm decals, incredibly, just your standard episode, uh, not episode 3, but it, it, technically, it's all my custom designs. Sorry, I have, a, I have a stutter problem all of a sudden. It's on all of my designs that is... Uh, that are based on this. So you've got just that basic arm design. It's completely white. Nothing much to talk about on this figure. So again, if you're interested in, in getting one of these figures for yourself, to review it yourself, to have it yourself, to play with it yourself, to display it yourself, anything like that works. So this custom is, you know, the I'm twenty dollars. I might lower it depending on the situation. I'm not entirely sure yet. But all, all in all, it's an inexpensive custom clone. It's in good. It's in great condition. They work well. They don't peel very well, almost at all actually. And I'll be trying to peel these things off right now to demonstrate with my nails not coming off my nails on the on the arm not coming off my nails on the on the hips and the torso not coming off on the legs not coming off not coming off easy in fact you probably need to actually the only way to get these decals off effective effectively is to actually use a pair of sharp tweezers or something like that to just rip at them. So this has been Dakota K268 Republic Customs. If you're interested in con if you're interested in getting one of these figures, contact me at uh, DK Coley DKCOLLEY -E at gmail.com or republiccustoms.gmail.com. I'll respond to the DK Coley messages much faster than I will to the Republic Custom messages. So also you also you can send me a message on here on YouTube, which I might may or may not respond to fast or even on via Flickr mail. So this has been Dakota K268. Talk to you guys later. Bye.